Speaking of tickets and some great family friendly events, the Nice Wonder Performing Arts Center for several seasons now has been your go to place for that very thing. And we have Taffy Stober and Chris Fader here to talk about what's still some great stuff left in the season, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We have half a season left of just extraordinary events and the box office is hopping, tickets are selling and people are enjoying their time coming into spring. Well, just a couple days from now, we've got an event coming up that is going to be educational, inspirational, uh, really a great opportunity. Luke Zamperini coming up this weekend. It is. Um, he actually, uh, this event lives our mission as the Nice Swanger to educate, inspire and entertain. Luke's father is Louis Zamperini, so many of us have seen the movie Unbroken, have read the book. What we learned through that is his history, his perseverance of being a prisoner of war in World War II when the Germans had captured him. He was an Olympic champion, um, just a winner, but it, his life didn't make a real noted change until he went to a Billy Graham crusade, mm. and then he was able to find Christ and he was able to have redemption. Thus, it gave him, gave him the ability to forgive mm -hmm. his captors from World War II. So wow. the whole story of his life is, um, it, it's life changing for others to hear. So yes, that will be on March 6th. So that is coming up in just a few days. Chris, what is the process for someone to get tickets since we are pretty close on that one? Yeah, really they can go to our website, npacvw.org and order tickets through there and they can always call me or Jerry at uh, the box office uh, and we'll be happy to, to help you with any of your ticket needs. All so the way up until the day all of, All the way right? up until the day of and even if we have tickets left, we will, we will sell them at the door. Okay, that is Sunday, March 6th at 3 p.m. And then just a little bit later in March, it's uh, Christian music coming back to the nice Wonger. Natalie Grant is going to be here. We're looking forward to that. We are too. Her songs have such a message of hope um, and they're so encouraging. We're seeing a lot of young girls, um, youth groups coming, attending uh, the messages just as, as strong for boys. It's a great time for families to come hear encouraging messaging. We look for times where we have opportunities to, to share something as a family that's good. And this is one of those moments. So mm -hmm. that's a Sunday night at 730. It works really great for our family schedule. So we, we hope to pack out the place for Natalie Grant. Don't forget, we have been uh, telling all of you that you can sign up for a giveaway for Natalie Grant tickets and those books that she has written. And you still have that opportunity just by going to our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com. So Luke Zamperini is coming up soon. Natalie Grant is coming up in just a few weeks. And then there's a lot of exciting things in April, starting with the American Boy Choir on April 10th. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The American Boy Choir will be with us and um, they are well noted as being one of the, um, an institution. Um, they've been around for quite some time. They're out of New York. So we're, we're happy to have them come and share their gift, which is quite beautiful. So check them out on our website because it's their music that sells them more than anything I could possibly say. It's ethereal, their voices are. You know, it's one of those things where you may not have heard of them, but once you get there and you experience it, you think, oh, I didn't want to miss this. I'm so glad I had this opportunity. Absolutely. Riders in the Sky is April 15th. Chris, this one's almost sold out. It is, uh, it, and you know, we, we hate to say it, but sometimes we really do get surprised in how well some shows do, and uh, Riders in the Sky has really hit a chord with our with our core audience, and, and we're just so happy that that they've responded so well mm -hmm. to it because it's really going to be a great show that you know uh, grandparents can bring their grandkids mm. to, and the whole family can just come together and not have to worry about you know so many things that we see in other all these other uh, types of media that that hit us mm -hmm. constantly. You know, we're worried about if, if this is going to be okay for me and my family, and that's something we're we're really excited that we can offer to our to our communities is a worry-free evening Absolutely. with your family, and so we, we're just so happy that they've responded so well to this. One of the things I love about the Nice Wonder Performing Arts Center is the family-friendly focus. You know, there's a lot of Christian events. Some events are not Christian events, but they're family-friendly events. I know every year my husband and I take our daughters for a few things, just because, like you said, a generational opportunity right. to share something new. Mm -hmm. So, so important. Well, we are almost out of time, but it is not too late to find out more about the Nice Wonger because there's more things. Quickly, let's talk about Van Wert Blooms, Craig Wayne Boyd, and Brian Culbertson.
Absolutely. Van Wert Blooms is our first gardening seminar. It is, begins at 8 in the morning. It lasts till 4 in the evening. Mm -hmm. We have um, P. Allen Smith, who you will see on television. He has his own mm -hmm. shows. Um, we actually, this has been such an in-demand event that we only have balcony seats left. So they're $30 oh, really? for yes. the full day. Um, so come. There's five other noted speakers other than P. Allen Smith. And if you love to garden, it will be heaven for you that day. So it'll, help, it'll help me not have a black thumb. I say I don't have a green thumb. Say, I, have a black I, I don't thumb. either. You I can take. Either. I'm sure you can purchase a plant there and take home and <laughs> see how you do. But um, but it, it should be an astounding event. And then following up that event um, is uh, Texas Tenors, which is a sold out event. But it's the community concert series mm. Ender, and we will be promoting the new series of community concert series. It'll be introduced on that day, which is the day after uh -huh. Van Wert blooms. Exciting. Yes. All right. Then we have Craig Wayne Boyd, which was supposed to be in January. I have January written on my uh, my paper here, but obviously it didn't happen in January. No. no, no. He actually got stuck due to all those bad uh, storms that were going throughout the east, and uh, he got stuck in Nashville. So <laughs> we had to go into crisis mode and make a <laughs> bunch of phone calls and emails, but you know we, we got it taken care of, and he was able to to uh, reschedule to April 29th. So we're excited that we didn't have and to just cancel it. So. Yes, and he was the winner of The Voice. Um, and we've spent a lot of time listening to him sing Old Rugged Cross. He has yes. a lot of gospel songs. So um, if, if people aren't familiar with Craig Wayne Boyd, look him up. He's got an amazing voice and uh, quite a neat character. So he'll be here April 28th or 29th. And then on April 30th, we close out our entire season with Jazz and Brian Culbertson. All right. So. April 30th, Brian Culbertson. What a lineup still to take place at the Nice Hunger Performing Arts Center. You can find out more information by going to their website. You can also purchase tickets at NPACVW.org. You can see it right there on the screen. Or call the box office phone number, 419-238-6722. Always thankful for our friends at Nice Hunger Performing Arts Center and all of the great offerings that they bring to our region. Mark?